hello guys as i posted you know this post uh, previously that i will be creating this spring initializer project and uh, running the same in eclipse and uh, sts4 id let's go and uh, try creating that project first uh, we'll search the spring initializer you can select this first option here this is the spring initializer uh, through which we are going to create one uh, spring boot project here okay as you can see here i will select uh, my own project this is uh, java it's already selected and uh, the spring boot version i am selecting is 2.7.5 at the time recording this video there is a group and artifact name and uh, description package name okay the packaging will be jar and uh, the java version is 17 i am selecting you can select whichever you want now i am selecting 17 okay first i will name a group as code and fun and uh, artifact as code and fun the name that will be same as artifact i am keeping as same and uh, just going to description just a sample spring boot project okay the package name keeping as code dot and dot fun okay now the dependency section is here if you want to add any dependencies you can add by selecting here okay now i am going to creating a simple project i am not selecting any dependencies i am keeping dependencies as it is okay let's click on generate okay you can see the zip file is downloaded already now if you want to see where it is downloaded you can click on this and uh, show in folder you can select or you can go to file explorer and uh, in the download section you can see the zip file which is code and fun okay right click on that and uh, i am selecting extract here okay now you can see the file is extracted now you can see all the information about that project that is created okay this is about how we can generate the uh, Spring Boot project or create Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Now we need to run this Spring Boot project inside STS and Eclipse IDE. Now first we'll go to STS IDE and try running this project. Okay, open your STS IDE. Here you can see all these things. I'm simply going to select this import projects okay now it will ask what type of project you are uh, going to import i will select existing moment project here and click on next okay now you need to give the root directory where the project will be there i'm simply clicking on the browse okay i will select the download section here it is my file code and fun i will select that thing and select folder okay now you can see the pom.xml file uh, you know related to that project is shown here clicking on finish okay now you can see here the maven project is being imported okay once it is completed you can see the imported file will be shown here okay. now you can see the application file it is after importing the project now the thing is we need to run this project okay simply right click on that code application okay then select run as after we can go to run as spring boot app okay you can see the spring boot project is ran successfully okay this is about running the spring initializer generated project inside sts id now we can go to our eclipse id and we'll see how to run the same project using eclipse id okay go to eclipse id now here also same select import projects 
now it will ask same as it was asked in STS ID that is which type of the project now I will select existing Maven project here okay now I will click next okay here it will also ask the root directory I will browse and I will select download section I will select the code and phone okay select folder now I will finish this thing you can see the importing Maven project here once it is completed I will open this project just expand this project and open this source main Java here you can see inside the code.n.fun package here is our application file okay this thing is already present here while creating our project now if you want to run this project simply right click on this project okay select run as select Java application okay after running this in the console you can see the spring logo here that means your project successfully ran here okay this is how we can generate a spring boot project using spring initializer okay and then how to run this project inside STS IDE okay and also in Eclipse IDE this is the thing that I wanted to share with you guys okay thank you we call me a